do you make decisions with your heart or do you make decisions with your head and how the hell do you know so this next question from Emily is a really really great one Mm, for those of you that are struggling with making a decision and it's a question about how do you know when you are listening to your heart or you are listening to your head how do you know mm, what fear is real in other words and so she writes I totally get how it is so important to listen to your inner wisdom and stop the inner chatter of of self-doubt. But what happens now when the internal world is between what your heart feels and what your brain thinks and your inner wisdom is telling you and so this is a question about do you make decisions with your heart or do you make decisions with your head and how the hell do you know how do you know in fact i was just talking with my um, creative director and uh, she was sharing with me that a friend of her is going through the terrible things right now. It's not terrible, but it's just what happens in life. Where she knows that the the relationship that she's in isn't right. They get along really well. Things are really easy, but in her heart, she knows it just isn't right though are the kinds of decisions that are really difficult to make and so it gets to the heart of emily's question which is how do i know whether to make a decision with my head or a decision with my heart Um, the kind of person that believes uh, you should always make decisions with your heart and soul. You can use your brain for math. You can use your brain to look at the fine print in a contract. But when it comes to the actual feel of the decision, you always want to go inward and check it against your heart and soul. How do you do that? Here's the simple test. Does the decision that you are about to make expand you, expand your future, or expand the possibilities of your life? If the answer is yes, then the decision is yes, no matter how terrifying it is. If you consciously look at the choice that you have to make and the decision will spring you, will silence you, will inhibit you in some way, then the answer is no. No matter how easy it is, the decision is, no matter how safe the decision is, the answer is no. Now, one of the things I want to point out that when you start to use this, does it expand or does it swing me? Does it open possibilities or does it keep, keep things closed? Does it raise my voice or does it silence me? right is that there's always a short term and the long term impact to the decision the short term 
impact to making an expensive decision. A decision that stays in your heart and your soul sometimes is terrifying because sometimes it means moving or it means changing a job or changing a relationship or having a difficult conversation or starting new something new and those sorts of things are always uncomfortable uh, so praise for impact but put a false feels up but make the decision anyway because the long-term impact of making a decision from your heart and soul so that is where the best life comes from because you are living for what's true for you, not what's safe in the moment. I hope that helps and let me know how you use this expense versus thin scale in order to make decisions that you are facing right now. And don't forget to submit your questions to us by using the hashtag AskNow. Thank you.